Meantime, about 40,000 customers across the province are currently without power. Nova Scotia Power says it's activated its emergency operations center in response to the thunderstorms. And joining us now is the mayor of Halifax, Mike Savage. Mike, thank you, first of all, for taking the time. Uh, I know you guys are still trying to get that full picture of all of the damage, uh, but can you explain to me, based on what you've seen, the extent of this flooding so far? Well, it's massive. Um, you know, we, we've, I've never seen such violent um, thunder and lightning uh, downpours that we've had. Uh, we have reports that there are locations within uh, Halifax region that have received up to 250 milliliters of rain, um, in, you know, and that's in a short period. And that's uh, compared to <clears throat> a normal monthly amount in July, which would be 90 millimeters. <clears throat> so we have roads that are washed out. We have public and private infrastructure that is uh, damaged. Um, there's just, uh, and we're trying to assess that, of course, we're trying to make sure people are safe first and foremost. Um, our fire and emergency folks are out, the RCMP are out, all of our emergency responders are, uh, uh, you know, looking at this because the rain's not over yet. It's going to rain throughout the day, it appears. So um, keeping an eye on this and uh, trying to make sure that people are as safe as possible. Mm -hmm. What's being done to help residents either stay as safe as possible or, you know, evacuate in some cases? Yeah, so we, we set up two evacuation centers last night. There was two emergency alerts that went out letting people know about the evacuation centers, but also letting them know there are some roads that are closed completely. There are some roads that have been largely destroyed um, by the force of uh, the storm. So we set up the evacuation centers, very much encouraging people, if you don't need to be out and about, to stay at home and let the emergency responders do the work that uh, they have to do. You know, this is the second kind of major um, uh, event that we've been dealing with after the fires here in Halifax, uh, you know, a couple of months ago. Um, and uh, so our emergency operations center is activated. And, um, you know, we're doing everything we can to make sure that people are safe. Now, going back to those evacuation orders, uh, I understand that uh, there are some in effect for residents over near Nova Scotia's St. Croix River system. What's being done to assist the residents there? So that's outside of Halifax region. That's the province. I just spoke to the premier who uh, is uh, uh, obviously keeping a very close eye on this um, as well. But that's a pretty serious situation. We've actually had some uh, folks from Halifax, volunteers, uh, search and rescue, and others uh, who have gone up to the area to help those folks. Um, but, you know, we have highways, like major highways that are closed, um, in one case because of uh, the amount of water, in the other case because of uh, damage. So um, it's a very serious uh, event, and we're, 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 we're getting far too many of these sort of unnatural, natural disasters that used to be once in a hundred years, um, and now they're happening with far too much regularity. Now, it seems the dam is at risk of breaching. What measures are putting, uh, being put in place if that ultimately does happen? Well, again, that's something the provincial officials, as opposed to our civic officials, that's outside of the Halifax region. But the highway that leads out there has been significantly damaged from uh, the city. Um, and uh, there have been a lot of alerts around uh, the dam and what people should do. So. Um, it's, uh, it's a most unusual thing. The images that, that I'm sure you're showing while we're talking are staggering. And, um, you know, we've, we've seen this flooding up through, uh, Northeastern United States, um, and places like that. But, um, I've never seen some of these images. I don't think I've seen in my lifetime. I mean, I remember hurricane bath back in the early seventies. Um, and we've had flooding since, but, the force of this um, and the number of vehicles that have been disbanded, um, police out on the street assisting people, RCMP and Halifax region. Um, the most important thing for people is if you don't need to be out and about on the roads, don't be out and about in the roads. Uh, some people can't be because they can't get out of the neighborhoods that, uh, that they're in. But our folks, Halifax Regional Fire and Emergency, RCMP, police and others um, are uh, uh, out doing the work that uh, that we value so much. 
Yeah, certainly would not want to be out on the roads. We were just looking at uh, some images there of uh, roads looking more like rivers. Uh, we'll have to leave it yeah. there. Uh, the mayor of Halifax, Mike Savage, I know you're busy. Thank you for being here with us today and stay safe. Thank you very much.